everyone, and welcome to the Game Awards. Games, the actual things we play, are insanely special, and we've got such an amazing group of people with us, and many of them are here tonight. Mr. Anuma, Mr. Fujibayashi, great to see you back after winning Game of the Year in 2017 for Breath of the Wild. Good luck tonight. Of course, the team behind Pizza Towers here, too. Everyone's here. Melina Jurgens, welcome. I think we'll be seeing you a little bit later tonight. We have a big show. To present tonight's first award, Christopher Judge. <laughs> oh, what a card. Mother no eight minute speech like last year, but fun fact my speech was actually longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm here to present the award for best performance. In a year of games. Best performance. Revenge. I'm the hero here. And the award goes to... Neil Nubar. Hi. Um, this is unreal. Congratulations, Neil. Great speech. Let's get to those world premieres. And for the honor of presenting our first one, please welcome Academy Award winning actor and New York Times best selling author, Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Well, now we're going to go right on to another world premiere. <laughs> Certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Master thyself. Kratos and Mimir are headed to Valhalla, and yes, as you saw, it is free. Amazing. All right, switching gears. Our next world premiere comes from a small independent team of developers in Australia, and their next project is equally exciting and unexpected. You are certain you remember nothing of this place? Oh, nothing that would help us. Please welcome a former Game Award winner for Best Performance, Ninja Theory's Melina Jurgens. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Lom. Now to present our next award, please welcome Ed Boone. Here are the nominees. And the award goes to... Alan Wake 2. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. Um, Please give a warm welcome to Akumi Nakamura. really has been an outstanding year for gaming. 
And now to talk about some of the biggest games, it's a pleasure to welcome from the Muppets, Gonzo. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, Jeff. <laughs> I'd like to show you how many of this year's greatest games all revolve around one central theme. Check this out. Unbelievable. All right, here are the nominees for Best Debut oh, I'm just Indie Game. <laughs> best Debut Indie Game. And the Game Award goes to... Cocoon! Oh yeah! All right, well, this next trailer might be something Dragon Ball fans have been waiting to hear about for a while. Here we go. Now it is time to announce winners in a number of other categories. Here are the nominees for Best Action Game. And the Game Award goes to... Armored Core 6. Here are the nominees for Best Art Direction. And the Game Award goes to... Alan Wake 2. Here are the nominees for Best VR AR. And the Game Award goes to... Resident Evil Village VR Mode. VR Mode. Now your nominees for Best Mobile Game. And the Game Award goes to Honkai Star Rail. Congratulations, Hoyoverse. Welcome back to the Game Awards. And are you ready? It is time to get a world premiere from one of our industry's greatest creators. The hungry purple dinosaur eats the kind zingy fox. Welcome, Mr. Kojima, back to the Game Awards. Uh, thank you, Jeff. Everyone, please welcome Jordan Peele to the Kojima verse. And joining me now are Rebecca and Megan from Digital Extremes up in Canada to talk about all things Warframe. Do you know it's been 10 years for Warframe? So you know, 10 years for you. We assumed we'd get a seniors discount of some time, just because our game is probably the oldest game here, maybe. But yeah. Bonsoir, everyone. Here are the outstanding nominees. Games for Impact. And the Game Award goes to... Chia! Thank you. go. Joining me now are Dinga Bacaba from Arcane Leon and Bill Roseman from Marvel. And we ate it up. But all right. Awesome. Thanks, Dinga. All right. We need tonight for best adaptation, Anthony Mackie. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Everybody gave up. Hey, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. Here are the nominees. Best ongoing game. Okay, the Game Award goes to, shut up, shut up, Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a journey, what, what a journey it's been. Okay, now we have a special surprise for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Herald of Darkness. All right, now join me in welcoming to the stage actor Simu Liu. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? Uh, see? Here are the nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. Best Action Adventure Game. And the Game Award goes to... No surprise here, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. この。Thank you so much. Congratulations, Mr. Anuma. And I am happy now to announce winners in a few more categories at the Game Awards. Here are the nominees for Best RPG, and the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Here are the nominees for Best Sim Strategy Game. 
And the game award goes to Pikmin 4. Here are the nominees for best sports racing game. This year, the game award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Best multiplayer this year are, and the game award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Having a pretty good night. Here are the nominees for our Player's Voice Award, and the game award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. I'm proud to present the nominees for Best Game Direction. Best Game Direction. And the winner is... Oh, Alan Wake 2. Present <laughs> Game of the Year. Please welcome Wonka. Once again, Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. And the game of the year is Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I didn't expect it anymore. Uh